Hi guys, my adlaw. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button below for more videos soon. For this video, I will be presenting about solving rational equations. So if you want to learn about how to solve rational equations, please keep on watching. So let's start. Solving rational equations. For the lesson objective, at the end of the video, you are expected to define and give examples of rational expressions. For number two, you should be able to define a rational equation. Number three, you should be able to solve rational equations. This topic requires us to have a prior knowledge on the following. Number one, performing operations with fractions, finding the least common denominator, and the properties of equality. So let's proceed. What is a rational expression? A rational expression is an algebraic fraction that can be written in the form a over b, where a and b are polynomials and b should not be equal to zero. When we say algebraic fraction, it is a fraction that involves algebraic expressions. Then, b should not be equal to zero because it will make the whole fraction undefined. Next. The following are examples of rational expressions. Number 1, we have 5 over 80. We have x squared minus 1 over x plus 3. We have x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x and a plus b over c. These are just some of the examples of rational expressions. Then the following examples are not rational expressions. These are, say, for example, you are given square root of a minus b over c plus a or c plus 1, then you have square root of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2, and 4 minus x raised to 2 third over 2 over 2x. Now, what makes this expression not a rational expression? That's because of the radical symbol here. More so with the second example. This is not a rational expression, but a radical expression. For the third example, because of this rational exponent, so the whole the whole expression is not a rational expression. Because the requirement that A and B should be a polynomial, and if there are a rational exponents, then that is not a polynomial. What is a rational equation? When you say a rational equation is an equation that contains one or more rational ex expressions. When you say equation, when you say equation that involves force, a symbol, the e an equal symbol, okay? A rational equation is an equation that contains one or more rational expression. The following are examples of a rational equation. Say we have... 5 over y equals 2 over y plus 2. This is a rational equation because we have an equal sign here and we have one rational expression and another one rational expression. Another example is x squared over x minus 2 equals 1 half. Another example is x over 2 plus x equals 1 half. Again, these are just some of the examples of rational equation. And we will be dealing with equations like this in our examples. So how do we solve a rational equation? So these are the steps. Step 1. We need to eliminate the rational expressions in the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD. After eliminating the rational expression, we need to solve the remaining equation by the unknown variable. Then last, we need to check the solution. So let's start with example 1. For example, we are given this rational equation. 1 fourth equals 3 over x minus 1 half. So what should be the value of the variable x here? So for the solution, 
we need to find the LCD of the three fractions here. Our denominators are 4, x, and 2. So what must be our LCD? An LCD, it is an algebraic expression that is divisible by all the denominators of all the fractions involved. So in this case, for this example, we have 4x and 2. So the LCD should be 4x. Because 4x that is divisible by 4, 4x is divisible by x, and 4x is divisible by 2. It's the least common denominator. So in this case, our LCD, we, we, we multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD, which is 4x. So we have, we copy 1 fourth, then the LCD, then we copy 3 over x minus 1 half. So by multiplying 4x times 1, that gives us 4x. We copy the denominator 4 because it has a shown denominator 1 here, then 1 times 4 is 4. So at the right side of the equation, we have 4x times 3, that gives us 12x, and we have a shown denominator 1 here, 1 times x is x. Then we have 4x times 1, we copy the negative, so 4x times 1 is 4x, then a shown denominator 1 times 2 is 2. And afterwards, we have to simplify. In this case, we have the 4 here and 4, so in this case, we can cancel out 4 and 4. Then, here we have 12x over x, so we can cancel out the variable x and x. So, the resulting equation will be x equals 12 minus 2x. So, 4x divided by 2 is 2x. Now, in this equation, we need to see to it that all the terms containing the variable should be placed at the left side of the equation and all the term containing the constant should be placed at the right side of the equation. Now, how to do this is we use the properties of equality. And on this equation, we need to use the addition property of equality. So, the resulting equation will be x plus 2x equals 12 minus 2x plus 2x. In this case, this is negative 2x plus 2x, so we can cancel this out. So, the resulting equation becomes... 3x equals 12. So x plus 2x is 3x. Now, afterwards, we divide both sides of the equation by 3 to eliminate the 3 as the coefficient of x here. So we can cancel out 3 and 3. So what remains would be x equals 4. That is 12 divided by 3. So our value for x is 4. Now, last step is to check our answer. We will go back to the given equation. We have 1 fourth equals 3 over. Since it is 3 over x and we already have the value of x which is 4, so we have to substitute x by 4. Then afterwards, the same thing happens but here. We need to find the LCD. This time, our LCD now is 4. So we need to multiply both sides of the equation by 4. In this case, we have 4 over 4. If 4 times 1 is 4 over 4. Then 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. Then we just simply copy all the denominators because this is to be multiplied by 1. Then we simplify, we simplify the equation. So one, 4 divided by 4 is 1. Then 12 divided by 4 is 3. Then we copy minus, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then 3 minus 2 is 1, so that is 1 equals 1. Let's proceed to example 2. For example, we are given this equation. x plus 2 over 8 equals 3 over 4. So solution, our LCD for these fractions is 8. So we multiply both sides of the equation by 8. So this becomes 8, which is the LCD, times x plus 2 over 8. That is equals, we copy the equals, then the LCD 8, then we multiply that with 3 over 4. Now this time we can cancel out 8. So cancel out 8, and we can divide 8 by 4. 
So what remains here would be x plus 2 and 8 divided by 4 is 2 and multiplied that to 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. Now, since we have the constant here, positive 2, in the left side of the equation, we need to transfer this one to the left side of the equation by using the subtraction property of equality. So, we subtract 2 here, and since we subtracted 2 on the left side of the equation, we also need to subtract 2 in the right side of the equation. This time, we can cancel out the 2 and 2. So what remains here would be x and 6 minus 2 is 4. So we have our variable x is equal to 4. Now to check, we go back to the equation which is x plus 2 over 8 equals 3 over 4. Then we substitute the value of x which is 4. So that gives us 4 plus 2 equals 8 equals 3 over 4. Then 4 plus 2 is 6, that is 6 over 8 equals 3 over 4. Then we reduce 6 over 8 by dividing both numerator and denominator by 2, so that gives us 3 over 4, which is equal to 3 over 4. Let's proceed to the third example. We are given the equation x plus 1 over 2 equals x plus 2 over 3. So our LCD to both 3 and 2 is 6. So we multiply both the left side and the right side of the equation by 6. So we have 6 times x plus 1 over 2 equals 6 times x plus 2 over 3. So we divide 6 by 2 that gives us 3. And then we multiply that with the numerator, which is x plus 1. And we divide 6 by 3, that gives us 2. And we multiply that with x plus 2. Then this time, we distribute 3 to the terms inside the parentheses. The same also happens here that with 2. We multiply that with the terms inside the parentheses. So that gives us 3x plus 3 equals 2x plus 4. Then, combine all the variables at the left side of the equation and all the constants at the right side of the equation. We subtract 2x here, we will also subtract 2x here. Then, we will subtract 3 here, we will also subtract 3 here. So, the resulting equation becomes 3x, which is this one, then minus 2x, then we copy 4, minus 3 by using the subtraction property of equality. So 3x minus 2x is x, and 4 minus 3 is 1. So the value of x is 1. Now let's do the checking. To check, again, we go back to the fraction. So we have x plus 1 over 2 equals x plus 2 over 3. We substitute the value of x, which is 1, so that gives us 1 plus 1 over 2, equals 1 plus 2 over 3. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Then we copy the denominator 3 equals 1 plus 2 over 3. That is 3 over 3. So 2 over 2 is 1 and 3 over 3 is also 1. Now for the last example, we are given the equation 2x plus 3 over x minus 2 equals 1 fourth. And the LCD of this fraction of this and the LCD of these fractions is both of these denominators. So we have 4 times x minus 2. So this is 4 and the x minus 2. So both denominators are both denominators is our LCD. So 4, 4 times x minus 2 times this fraction here, 2x plus 3 over x minus over x minus 2 equals the LCD, the same is 4 times x minus 2, then multiply that with 1 fourth. Now this time, we have the x minus 2 here and the x minus 2. So we can cancel out x minus 2 and x minus 2. Then here, we also have the 4 and 4. So we can cancel out 4 and 4. The remaining equation will become 4 times 2x plus 3 
equals x minus 2 times 1. Then we distribute 4 to the terms inside the parentheses. So that gives us 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times 3 is 12. Then 1 times x minus 2 is x minus 2. Then combine the variables and the constants. So this becomes by using to eliminate x here we use subtraction property of equality. The same also here we use subtraction property of equality. So the resulting equation becomes 8x minus x equals negative 2 minus 12. So 8x minus x is 7x then equals negative 2 minus 12 is negative 14. Then divide both sides by 7 to eliminate the 7 here. So 7x over 7 equals, we will also divide 7 here. So we can cancel out 7 and the remaining equation becomes x equals negative 14 divided by 7 is negative 2. So to check, we will go back to the original equation which is 2x plus 3 over x minus 2. That is equal to 1 fourth. Now, since we have the value of x which is negative 2, we will substitute this one to the variable x here. So this becomes 2 times negative 2 plus 3 over negative 2 minus 2 equals 1 fourth. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 3 over negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. That is equal to 1 fourth. So negative 3, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, that is over negative 4 equals 1 fourth. And since both numerator and denominator are negative, so this becomes positive. So this is 1 fourth equals 1 fourth. So that's it. I hope you have learned something. And before I go, we will have this practice exercise. Solve the following rational equations and then check your answers. So given the equation 1, x over 2 minus x equals 2 third. Equation 2, x plus 5 over 2 equals x minus 2 over 5. And last, x minus 3 over x equals 4. So try answering this one. Practice, practice, practice. Then... Thank you and God bless. Again, do not forget to subscribe.